Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Francois from Semfio. Uh, I wanted to do this video to talk about the new Juniper Mist API documentation. Uh, so at Semfio, we do a lot of work with uh, automating Wi-Fi with the Juniper Mist API, building scripts and applications. And uh, they've just released a new version of the API documentation, which is very convenient for any developer. So I wanted to talk about it and let you guys know what's new about it. So let's jump into it. So right now I'm inside my organization, Mist organization. You can see my access points. And in order to get access to the new API documentation page, I can open a new tab and you can head over to mist.com slash API. This will automatically redirect you to the Juniper documentation page. And this is what the new API documentation page looks like. Uh, so you, you, you'll see that they have some, you know, how to get started guides and you can follow them if you want to. Uh, but then what's useful is on the left, you have all of the different API calls that you'll be able to make organized in the same sections that, you know, you would be used to if you've worked with the MIST API before. Uh, so here, the first thing that I'll do is I'll go under the self API section under account, and we're going to try to just do a get self. Uh, to to take a look at you know a simple get API call in this in this um, uh, you know menu here you can see that under the left you can kind of see if it's uh, easily see if it's a delete get put post with these uh, color sets very useful and then once you click on one of the API call it brings you to that specific page and here you will uh, learn everything you need to know in order to be able to make that call so here this is a get API call there's nothing really that you need to add uh, to the request, no parameters. But here, the, the, the new thing that's really good on the new uh, API documentation website is that you can make API calls directly from the site. And this is what you see on the right here. So on the right, you can see that, you know, I can click on the configure button and here I can select, you know, my Mist Cloud. So in my case, I'm using the Mist Global 04. That's the uh, Miss Cloud for Canada. So I can select this and then here, I don't know if you noticed, but it changed the API URL. So if I go back to the global one, watch that URL, it will bring it back to api.miss.com. If I go to Miss Global 4, then it gives me api.gc2.miss.com. So based on which cloud you're using, you can select it here and it will adjust the API URL for you automatically. And now if I click on try it out, it's going to try to send this API call. So the API v1 self, the one you have here on the left, and it's going to try to send it to the right cloud. So if I click on try it out, it will send it. Now in my case, it's not going to work here because it's telling me that I'm not authenticated, right? It's telling me authentication credentials were not provided. Well, this is where you can also provide authentication information. Right? And the two ways, I guess you have three ways of doing it here, but I'm going to show you two ways of doing it, either using a token or using your username and password that you use to actually connect to the manage.mist.com website. So if I want to use a token, then I can click here and expand that authentication box. And I can select API token here in the menu, and then I will have kind of a password text box here to enter my token. Um, now, if you don't have a token, well, you can go to your organization uh, here and uh, go to the settings, uh, and you can create a token for your organization, right? You could also create a token for your user, but here I'll show you for the organization. So this is my org. I'm going to click on create token. I'm going to give it an arbitrary name. Uh, we'll call this one uh, API doc. And then I'm going to click on Generate. Uh, now I'm going to copy that token, close this window, and then go back to the API documentation. Now if I just paste that token here and try it, again, it's not going to work. right? And that's because when you send an API call to the Miss Cloud, the Miss Cloud under the authorization value, it's expecting you to put the keyword token space and then put your token. So what this is exactly what I have to do here. Here I have to, and let me unhide it for you. I have to write token space, and then I have to space uh, paste my token. And as you can see here, under the authorization value, it updated it here. 
And now if I try it out, then it's going to work. And you can see I got a 200 and I have myself information, right? So this is something you could do if you use like a password manager, like LastPass, one, one password, uh, you can save these information, your token information in there. So whenever you go back to the, uh, to the documentation side, you can just you know, quickly have it there automatically for you configured. So you don't have to re, you know, enter it every time. Um, and here, just as a reminder, token is a personal information. So treat it as a password. The one I'm just using for the video here, I'll just you know, end up deleting it after this video. This is just to kind of demo it for, for you guys. But this is one easy way to kind of authenticate yourself against the API and run whatever you know, API calls you want to you wanna run. The second option you have is using the basic auth option here. And for the basic auth, here you can use the, uh, the same set of credentials that you would use uh, to connect to the MIST uh, cloud. So here, once again, you need to make sure that you use the proper credential for the proper cloud. So here I'm using you know, the uh, GC2 cloud. Um, and the way I have my authentication set up for GC2 is I, I, I use username, but also the two-factor authentication. And two-factor authentication is not supported by the API documentation a page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the MIST cloud and I'm going to try to connect to the global one environment. And for my global one environment, I disable the two uh, way factor authentication so I can demo it to you here. So I'm going to put the credential that I would use to connect to the manage.mist.com uh, site for global one. So let me put that in. Okay, so now it should work. I fixed my credentials. I click on try it out. And now you can see I have the information about that specific cloud, right? So this is really useful. You can now run API calls directly from the API documentation website. Um, so let's take a look at another example where we actually get some data back. I'm going to go to my uh, site, and we're going to try to retrieve devices information for a site. So I'm going to go to device. Uh, and then we'll do get site devices. All right. So here, what I will need is two things, my site ID and the device ID. Uh, so actually, we'll do something that will just give us, uh, maybe we'll do the count uh, site devices. OK. So here, I just need to know the site ID. And obviously, I need to also specify my API token information. Um, so what we'll do is we'll specify the token information. Actually, it's already there. I'm going to specify my cloud. Okay, it kept my API, my token information from earlier. So if I go here, I have it here. And then if I scroll down here, you can see that now I can specify you know, different uh, parameters to my query. So here, I'm going to have to go back into my org, uh, go under my, um, my site settings, uh, sorry, organization, uh, site configurations. I'm going to go to this site, take my ID from here, and then I'm going to copy and paste it here, right? So now I'm specifying my ID here. It's going to replace it automatically for me in the URL that it's passing it to. And now I can try it out. And as you can see, you know, I have, uh, I have the six items here. So it counted my devices. I have six items. I have four IP, one switch, one, um, one gateway. So as you can see, it's working. It's working. I'm getting information back directly from the, uh, the API. And I can do all of my testing here. This is great. This is a, I love this. This is a great addition to what we used to have. Uh, this, is, this could be complementary to the Postman collection. Um, and you have all of the you know, APIs kind of documented here. So kudos to the you know, Juniper Mist team to updating this website. And I hope that this video is useful and that it will help you, you know, uh, uh, come up with uh, awesome applications dealing with the MIST API. Thank you.